Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about iOS 16.6 Developer Beta 1. And now the first beta has been out for a little over a week now as of the filming of this video. Now, unfortunately, I have some bad news that I'm going to share with you guys in today's follow-up video. It's been a while since I've seen a software that's taken a step back since iOS 16.4. Things have been great. 16.5, things have been great on my primary device, the iPhone 14 Pro Max. But unfortunately, with 16.4, six i do have some bad news to share with you guys now yes this software is still in beta but there's a few things here that shouldn't be happening so let's just dive right into this one now as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest ios news and apple software updates of course don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode okay so before i get to some of the details of my personal experience with the software and why i personally believe you should probably stay away from this one until further notice i want to talk about a major feature coming to imessage with ios 16.6 and that is contact key verification so imessage contact key verification is a feature that protects you from someone trying to eavesdrop into your conversation so if someone grabs your friend's apple id and logs in from another device and tries to talk to you from another device your iphone will give your warning that that Apple ID from that person that you continue to talk to has now been assigned to another device. So make sure that you're talking to the person you're talking to. So yeah, a warning pops up here with the contact key verification, preventing any eavesdropping in conversations in iMessage. This is a feature coming with iOS 16.6. It's made its debut already in appearance in settings, but it doesn't populate properly. So if I go into the settings search here and I go ahead and search for contact key verification, I get the information right here, but I don't get the actual feature. So yeah, the feature is in the software code, but it isn't populated just yet. Yeah, something that I'm looking forward to definitely with 16.6. Now, for those of you in Georgia, and this has nothing to do with iOS 16.6, I just wanted to mention this one. You can go into the wallet application, go into the plus icon here, and go into driver's license, and you guys now have the ability to add the digital wallet driver's license since in Georgia. I can't wait here for Florida. So Apple continues to work with local government agencies to bring this to iPhone. And it's been a slow rollout, but yeah, we have about four uh, states here in the U.S. so far, and hopefully soon we'll see more states being added to the list. And now I want to talk about why you should probably stay away from iOS 16.6 based on my personal experience. Keep in mind, of course, your experience may be different. Maybe your device is performing a lot better than mine, but let me go ahead and start with the lock screen. Within I was 16.6. I've had so many issues with the lock screen overnight the screen goes completely dark unresponsive i tap on it the iphone just doesn't respond to the tab the lock screen has been a complete issue unresponsive complete blacked out even when i have the always on display enabled it just goes completely dark so yeah on the iphone 14 pro max my primary device i've been having issues with the lock screen every single day just freezing all the time now i've also encountered some issues with apple apps freezing and crashing on me as well so the camera application it sometimes will just freeze and then it won't take the picture for some reason I click on the shutter and the shutter will have a massive lag again the new iPhone iPhone 14 Pro Max this is something I never encounter on any other beta just keep that in mind so that is definitely a step backwards I message sometimes having issues here as well crashing on me as well when I get a notification on the lock screen I tap on the notification the app opens and crashes automatically not sure why that is of course I've been reporting a lot of these issues to Apple of course now when it comes to battery of course beta the software I don't really like to judge the battery on this one but I have to say that the battery also just sort of stabilized I don't want to say it's worse but it isn't better on iOS 16.6 so just keep that in mind if you're running iOS 16.4 or iOS 16.5 I recommend you stay there until further notice the next beta should be right around the corner and hopefully we'll address a lot of these issues now when can we expect beta 2 hopefully to address some of the issues and by the way if you're having any issues i would like to hear those issues in the comments down below and maybe everyone can sort of get an understanding on how things are working you can also leave your device so mine's iphone 14 pro max of course your device may be working better than mine now the next beta okay so here in the u.s on the 29th right here we see memorial day so it's going to be a holiday right a federal holiday here so apple will most likely not be releasing any betas then we can expect the next beta 
on the week of the 30th into the first week of June for beta 2 iOS 16.6 beta 2 should be available now keep in mind we're about a week away from WWDC which I'm super excited about we're also going to get iOS 17 developer beta 1 on June 5th so a lot to talk about in the upcoming days unfortunately iOS 16.6 stay away from this one as of right now until further notice let me know your thoughts in those comments down below thank you for watching guys have a great day i'll see you guys on the next one peace